Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we've got a bit of a special episode, it's uh, Christmas. Uh, it's my first time ever uh, doing the Christmas event in Final Fantasy. So, without further ado, let's get things started and see what's going on. Now, first things first, it starts at uh, Miketo's Amphitheatre, that's just right here on the map. So if you're looking for it, and you've got to be level 15 to be able to start it. It's that special time of year where the streets light up for the Starlight Celebration once more, and preparations are underway. Amgaranji is busy readying for the festivities at Miketo's Amphitheatre and may just have a special task for you. Greetings! Always a pleasure to meet a strapping adventurer like yourself. I'm Amgaranji, head celebrant in charge of the Starlight Celebration and you've come at just the right time to assist me in preparing for the festivities. That is why you're here, isn't it? You see, I have something of a beast problem. Nothing dangerous, I assure you, but it's not exactly my area of expertise, and I imagine a seasoned veteran such as yourself, with all your experience dealing with Eorzea's more exotic fauna, would be better suited for the task. Coming out, Rudy. <laughs> what on earth? Yep. This little fellow is Rudy. At least that's why I've been calling him. He appeared all of a sudden as I was making my usual preparations, and now he doesn't seem to want to leave. I was wary at first, but he hasn't tried to cause any trouble. I dare say he's even better behaved than some of my little helpers. I've grown so fond of him I just couldn't resist making him a little costume. Doesn't he look adorable in it? The only problem is that it's as if he's trying to tell me something. It seems terribly important to him, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what it might be. I don't suppose there's anything you might be able to do to help, is there? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Forgive me, I know I'm asking the nigh impossible. After all, it's not as if an adventurer like yourself has the ability to commune with beasts. Oh, whatever am I to do? It looks like you could use some help, my dear. Uh... <laughs> what? Did... Did that squirrel just speak? By the twelve... A talking squirrel? <laughs> ah, the reactions never fail to amuse. Yes, I can understand and speak your language just fine. Well, you see, I am what is known as an auspis, a beast proficient in the tongues of man. If you have travelled to the Far East, you may have encountered others of my kind. But allow me to introduce myself. I am Risai, a wanderer who goes wherever duty, sentiment and the sweet smell of delectable desserts take me. A meeting with an old friend is what called me to a Yorzia, but your festivities piqued my interest. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation, and it struck me that I might be of service. Rudy, you can understand him? I would be a sad excuse for an auspice if I could not, so allow me to provide some enlightenment. It seems your fairy little friend would entreat a favour of you. To wit, he is troubled by the fact that he's a bit of a runt compared to his brothers. They hardly even treat him like a real yeti, making fun of him for the tiny snowballs he makes. Snowballs? Indeed, I heard that yetis incapacitate and capture their prey by blowing frosty balls of snow and ice. Yep, 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 yep. Your friend would politely point out that this is not true of all yetis. Rudy and his kin live peacefully deep in the mountains, a far cry from the savage beasts that roam Corfas. They vie for supremacy amongst themselves, not through violence, but by competing to see who can build the biggest snowballs. Rudy was practicing making snowballs in secret to prove himself when he fell from a small precipice and got himself lost. He wandered the forest aimlessly for days and had just about given up all hope when a white-haired fellow found and rescued him. The kindly fellow in question was none other than the Saint of Nimia, he says. Saved our poor Rudy before Galavant off to the Starlight Celebration. Poor Rudy, alas, didn't even get a chance to thank him. So now he wishes to find the Saint and properly express his gratitude. What a touching story. Truly a Starlight miracle. I do very much wish I could help, but... 
I'm sorry, Rudy. I fear I haven't a clue where the saint is right now. He never sticks to one place for too long, you see. Always busy delivering gifts to children the realm over. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh... Best way to show your thanks would be to pay his kindness forward. That's right. And if you help, and if you help bring joy to all the young ones for the Starlight Celebration, you can be one of his little helpers. Why, if you're lucky, you might even be able to meet him again. Yep, 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 yep. Rudy says he would be happy to help. As for that matter, would I? At the very least, I can avail you as an interpreter. You'll be lending a hand too, won't you? <laughs> I understand that this is all rather sudden, but please tell me you will agree. I'm sure it would mean the world to Rudy. Splendid. Now let us come up with a plan for getting this little one involved in the festivities. Okay, so uh, very yeti starlight. Um, speak with Risai. Now, where is Risai? Uh, just outside and to the right. Right there. I thank you again for your aid. Now, there must be something special Rudy can do for the children this starlight season. But what could that be? Might you have any ideas? Yep. Yep. What's that you say? The snowballs you make are so tiny that no one would ever want them. Do not be so hard on yourself, my little friend. Clearly your talents simply lie elsewhere, and it is our job to help you find them. Perhaps you could join the choir, for example. Can you sing? Let's hear it. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. That was most unique. Unfortunately, perhaps it's not the best fit for singing Starlight Carols. There must be something we can do. I would hear your thoughts, adventurer. Uh, we could compose a carol to better suit his voice. <laughs> he could make snowballs for the snowball fight, or a snowball-themed gift should do the trick. I say he could make snowballs for the snowball fight. That is a possibility, yes, but the children are over enjoy making snowballs themselves. I am not convinced that taking the task away from them would bring them much joy. That reminds me, what do you think of these, pray tell? I picked them up in Uldar, in some kind of traditional confection, but they look rather snowballish, don't they? Perhaps we could make something similar for the festival goers to nibble on. Yep. That's right, Rudy. This is your chance to prove yourself once and for all. We want to make the loveliest, most scrumptious snowball treats any yeti ever has. And we'll be with you every step of the way. You just need to have faith in yourself. Yep, yep, yep. Well, if it's sweets we're making, I know just the person to help. Mother Meun at the Garleen Canopy. I'm staying in a room there, and I must say I found her confections to be second to none. Shall we then? Right, so uh, it's off to see Mother Meun. Uh, we'll go by Ifrite, I guess. Get a little bit of a sprint going on. And kill the map. Right, so we want the main Ifrite Plaza. Right, and there he is. Of immune. There's something my friends and I would discuss with you. Quite the motley bunch, I see. What is it that brings you all here? I see. In that case, you've come at the perfect time. I believe I know a way this might work in both of our favours. I'm in the midst of preparing starlight gift boxes for the children at Bent Ranch Meadows. Exotic snow-themed sweets would be a most welcome addition. Then furnish you with said sweets we shall. Uh, that is, once we figure out precisely how we're going to make that. You leave that to me. I'll have a working recipe for you before you know it. In the meantime, might I ask you to pick up some of the ingredients we'll need in advance? I'll pour it all on my tab so you can simply pick everything up and bring it back here. It would be our pleasure. 
And don't you worry, Rudy. Our adventure friend and I will handle the transactions. Yep, yep, yep. You do the shopping all by yourself, you say? Eldrick need only stand back and watch, if you insist. What an eager little help your friend is. Yeah, I've made a list of everything we need. Simply show this to the shopkeeps and they'll take care of you. The flour you can procure at the Whistling Miller and the oil at the Botanist's Guild. And stay warm out there, yes? And with that, let us be off. First stop, the Whistling Miller. With us, Rudy. Yep. Okay, and we need to head to the Miller as well, apparently. So that would be uh, at Miketo's Amphitheatre again. Okie doke. Alright, and here we are at uh, Miketo's Amphitheatre, just uh, over to the Whistling Miller. So I guess it's inside. Uh, yes, and. Yep. Is that a baby Yeti? And why is it dressed as one of the Saint of Nimia's helpers? Yep, yep. Um, why is this not progressing? Ah, here we go. A letter from a Vermeule. Let's see here. Ah, now I see. You're running an errand for the Carlean Canopy. Well, I can certainly help with that. Give me just a moment and I'll fetch you your flower. Here you are. There should be enough to last Mune for a while. Don't work yourself too hard now. Yep, yep, yep. Well, would you look at that? It would seem our friend Rudy is a natural at this. I dare say it couldn't have gone any smoother if we did it ourselves. Now to the botanist guild for some oil. Off we go. Right, uh, here we go. I'm free to move again. Botanist guild just over here, so we'll get a sprint going on. And around this corner. And again, just in this corner right here. It looks like it's inside this building. Oops, nope, I don't want to speak uh, about that. No, I don't want to join the botanist guild, unfortunately. Not just now. This is who we need to speak with. Yep, 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 yep. Ah. Be gone, foul beast. Back to the forest with you. Yep. Yep. Oh dear, it seems our little friend is in something of a pickle. We could go to his aid, but let's wait a bit still. It would give the lad more confidence to be able to overcome the predicament himself. It won't leave. Oh, what to do? I'd rather not involve the wood railers. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm, an old. Could it be that you're here on an errand of sorts? Well, I'll be. Cooking ingredients for Mother Mune, and here I thought you some savage beast who'd wandered in yet to cause trouble. If frying oil is all you need, I'd be happy to oblige. Just a moment. Careful now, it's heavy, and do take care on your way back to the canopy, yes? Well, would you look at that? We really managed fine on his own after all. And now that we have everything we need, let's head back to the Carleen Canopy and get all this to me. Okie dokie. So where's our nearest leaf? Right just back here. And I can't find my sprint button. <laughs> uh, Ephraim Plaza? Turn around and back down we go. Yep, 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 yep. Good to see you back safe and sound. And just look at how well you performed our little errand. You really are a wonderful little helper. And with that, we have everything we need to make sweet starlight treats for the children. It'll take me a while to prepare, so how about a cup of piping hot tea while you wait? 
That would be splendid, Mother Mayune. Though I dare say it might make me even hungrier for a little something sweet to go with it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Amazing. I expected nothing less from you, Mew. Truly your confections are simply to die for. Mm. You flatter me, Rusai. Incidentally, you might be interested to hear that this is a traditional dessert called Schneeballs, named after an old Hell's Guard word meaning snowball. A perfect fit for a Yeti, wouldn't you say? Oh, so it was no mere coincidence that they took that they look like little snowballs. Yep, yep. You know, Rudy, you shouldn't let yourself be discouraged by what your siblings might say to you. There's no shame in being different from everyone else. After all, just look at me. I'm hardly like all the other squirrels out there. And do I let above me? Not at all. We should be proud of what sets us apart from others. Not ashamed. Yep, 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 yep. Once we finish making these, my gift boxes will be ready for delivery to Bent Branch Meadows. Speaking of which, would you like to help in handing them out? There's no better reward for hard work than watching the children's faces light up with joy. Don't worry, you won't have to do all the work. I'll be asking the Starlight Celebrants to assist as well. Well, what do you say? Yep, yep, yep. Rudy says he'd love to, and would most appreciate if you would join us. You'll do this for him, yes? You have my thanks. We'll make a few more batches of these and pack them up into the gift boxes for you. Amgaranji will be able to tell you what to do from there. Duly noted. Thank you for everything, Mother Mune. Yep. Alright, so uh, back to Miketi... Miketi's? Miketo's Amphitheatre. <laughs> So crowded, I can barely click her. <laughs> oh wait, I still didn't click her. Ah! <laughs> Welcome back. I trust that everything is well with her when you was little helper. Rudy and the two of you are helping Mother Mune make snowball-shaped confections. What a splendid idea! The children will be delighted, I'm sure. Well done, Rudy. I'm so proud of how far you've come. Yep, yep. Furthermore, we would like to assist in the handing out of presents at Bent Branch Meadows, if we may. Of course. I wouldn't want you to miss out on the joy of delivering the goodies and seeing the children's smiling faces. Thank you for sticking around, my friend. If you'd like, I'd be happy to tell you more about the festivities so that you can get fully into the starlight spirit. Okay. Um, get a click. Ooh, wind up Rudy and a Squirrel Emperor. Both uh, pets. Sounds great. <laughs> well, I do believe it's time to deliver the presents to the children. You're still willing to help out, yes? It would be our pleasure. Rudy's in particular, and we'll be there to support him all along the way. Excellent. On to business then. My fellow celebrant, Bainfield, has been placed in charge of this task. Seek him out at Bent Branch Meadows, and he'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay, so Bent Branch Meadows it is by the sounds of things. Teleport over there. Um, should be around this corner. There he is. Oh, time you showed up. I'll mention that you might be helping out, and believe you me, we could use all the help we can get. Then you will have ours. My yeti friend Rudy, Eldrick, and I, Risai, are more than happy to aid. Though I must say, Mother Mune truly outdid herself this time. Just look at all these presents. Might I suggest that we split the duties, that we might deliver them to the children in a more efficient manner. Eldrick, why don't you take a batch and go with Rudy? Meanwhile, I'll get started from the opposite side. Yep, 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 yep. 
Jimmy, you really saw a round to go that might be best to stand aside a bit and leave him to it. It would do wonders for his confidence, and I'm sure the children would delight in getting a gift from a seasonally fitting snow creature. Alright, uh... Rudy. Where is Rudy? Uh, behind us somewhere. Uh, oh, there he is. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, S Snow Beast, please don't eat me. Yep. Present? For us? Why, well, you must be one of the saints that will help us. Rudy gave the children their presents, okay. Wow, these look absolutely delicious, and I was just thinking about how hungry I was. Lucky me! Are you sure these are safe to eat? I suppose they must be, or that adventurer would do something about it. Anyhow, thank you. Thank you, fluffy little helper. We'll be sure not to eat them all at once. Yep, yep, yep. Right, so we're uh, back to Rudy again. <laughs> uh, this way, it seems. Oops, no, I didn't mean to click that. Want to get my sprint going on. <laughs> so, uh, just up here by the Chocobo stables. Uh, nope, that's not him. It is. Oh, there he is. Yep, yep, yep. Wah! It's a m m monster You! Adventurer, do something about this! Wait, I think it's holding something. What have you got there, little friend? Are those presents for us? Yep. Who do you give the children their presents? Okay. What are these? Some kind of snowball-shaped cake? I've never seen anything like them before. They look so good, and I'm going to tell all my friends I got them from the Saint's cutest helper of them all. They smell delicious. Thank you very much for the gift, little helper. And you too, Mr. Adventurer. Yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, where are we on the map? I can't even find myself. There we are, right. So just over this way. Sprint going on. And round this corner. You should be proud of yourselves. Your snowball sweets are the talk of the town. And not just among the wee ones. You've brought us all a starlight miracle this year. What the? Yetis? Yetis in the city. Take cover at once. Mm -hmm. Man, that guy, he looks creepy as heck. That voice, did that come from the city gates? Mm-hmm. Yep, let's go and investigate it. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> what in the seven hells is going on? I know not from where, but a pair of most fearsome yetis just stormed into the city. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm, oh, oh dear. Yes, I see. Lend me your ears, friends. There's no need to panic. Our large friends here haven't come to attack us. These are simply Rudy's siblings, come to take their little brother home. You're a lucky little yeti to have such good family worrying after you, Rudy. Uh, even if they do look like they're about to give you a good whooping. Indeed, I cannot deny that they are a bit perturbed. To hear them tell it, they are rather upset that Rudy allowed himself to be captured so easily. Captured? Think he can't fend for himself, do they? Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, Give him what for. Yep, 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 yep. 
Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> well, what are they saying? Did they sort doubt? Oh, I'd say our little friend Rudy really told them off. He told them all about the delicious snowball treats we made together and how the children's faces lit up when we gave them their presents. He said he may be small, but he's proud as can be of what he accomplished, and he won't let anyone belittle him anymore. Yep, yep. Say, Rudy, how about letting your brothers try your snowballs? A taste is worth a thousand words, after all. Aye, nothing like sharing tasty treats to bring a family together. Grrr. Well, isn't that nice of him? He just apologised for how they treated Rudy all these times. He says he's proud to call Rudy his brother, and that Rudy is more than welcome to join in their snowball fights and all their yeti games. Yep, 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 yep. Well, uh, let's have a little goodbye chat with him, I guess. Yep, 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 yep. Rudy says that he intends to return home with his brothers to their mountain home, and that he so very much enjoyed his time with us. He only wishes he could have properly thanked the Saint of Nimie before he left. I wouldn't worry about that. I, I reckon the Saint heard you clear as can be. Look, this was sitting by those tasty morsels he made. It's a letter from you know who. Dear Rudy, your delightful little snowball treat simply sparkled with a festive starlight spirit. I dare say you were the finest of all my helpers this season. Ho ho ho! Do you hear that, Rudy? It would seem the saint was watching you work the whole time. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Rudy, of course Alric will miss you too. Elric, Rudy says that were it not for you and the rest of us, he never would have realised what he was capable of, or found the confidence to stand up to his brothers. He says that everyone he met here was so incredibly kind, and it was because of that he was able to make the best snowballs he's ever made. He says thank you, Elric, for making this the most miraculous, memorable starlight of his life. Yep, yep. Fare thee well, Rudy, and promise that you'll come back to see your friends again someday, yes? Back home you go then. Take care of yourself out there. Aye, it'll be lonely here without the little guy. Worry not, my friends. You and Rudy's past may very well cross again somewhat. After all, we never know what fate has in store for us. And with that, we had best return and report to Am Garanji. I suspect she'll be thrilled if sad to hear that Rudy has gone away home. Oak. So, uh, that's uh, Rudy gone home. We'd best head back to Gridania to speak with uh, Aman Garanji. Am Garanji, even. And uh, see if this is going to finish up. If we can find a uh, spot to actually click her. Oh, she's not too crowded this time. All done, hand now, presents, are you? Thank you very much. And good work, Rudy. Wait. Where's Rudy gone off to? Home of his brothers, but I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Oh, to ruffle his fluffy fur one last time. You were quite fond of the little fellow, weren't you? Of course, who wouldn't get attached to that adorable pouty little face? Oh well, if he's happy now, that's all that matters. And now, allow me to thank you both once more. Not just for your help with the festivities, but for everything you did for Rudy as well. You helped him find the confidence he needed to make his siblings accept him. Why, if Rudy's exploits don't fill you with the spirit of starlight, I dare say nothing will. 
why I'm feeling more enthusiastic about the celebration than ever. And as head celebrant, I will do all in my power to spread joy and smiles with as much passion as Rudy did. I too very much enjoyed the time we spent together. Truly it was full of new experiences to look back upon fondly, isn't that so Alaric? And I fear the time has come for us to part ways. After all, I've lands to traverse, people to meet and sweets to eat. I very much hope to see you again someday, and who is to say? Should you ever find yourself in a pinch with a beast again, I very well might show up to lend a hand. Farewell. Thank you, truly. I know it isn't much, but please take this as a humble token of my appreciation. And believe it or not, the saint himself has expressed an interest in meeting you. No doubt he wishes to thank you in person. Whenever you have a moment, pray just say the word. Okay, so uh, there's our two pets. <laughs> oh, and there's still uh, one last thing to finish off, a uh, repeatable quest. Uh, magic prison for sunshines. Uh, okay. Well, we'll leave that for another episode of the proves to be enough uh, content worth looking into. But for the meantime, we'll just bring up our minion guide. Oops, uh, we need to bring up our inventory, of course, first, don't we? So we'll learn that. And learn that. Oops. And uh, wind up ready. And Squirrel Emperor. So there's uh, the Rudy. Looks to be the same as the one that we had through the quest. And I'm guessing it'll be the same case for the Squirrel. Uh, yes, pretty much hard to see there between my action bars. Right. Well, we're going to call this an episode here. And we'll uh, wish you all a happy holidays. So we'll see you guys next time.